Hello. Welcome to AI Factory. You've probably come across those kinds of influencers while scrolling through short videos. Stunning faces, perfect figures, and daily adventures in various outfits across the world, attracting massive followers and engagement. These channels feature AI-generated influencers. Today, I'll introduce you to a platform that integrates various stable diffusion models. It meets your needs for generating images with stable diffusion without any specific computer requirements. The best part? The trial limit is so generous. It's practically free. Before we dive in, let's take a quick look at Flux One. Flux One is a recently popular text-to-image AI generation tool, revolutionizing the field with its ability to create ultra-realistic images. It competes directly with Midjourney, delivering near-perfect details in skin textures, hair accessories, and facial expressions. By using Flux One, we can create AI influencers and monetize them. In my previous tutorials, I've shared how to access Flux One for free to generate images, and I've also covered how to use free AI tools to generate and monetize AI influencers in three lessons. Feel free to search for these tutorials on my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create influencer models and consistent character images using Flux One. Flux One is a free, open source image generation model that you can install locally or use online. I found an online platform where you can use Flux without any configuration. Just open the website and start. The link is in the video description. Introducing Shacker, a platform hosting over 30,000 high quality, practical stable diffusion models. The best part, the images are almost free to generate and there's no watermark at all. It's definitely the best online AI drawing website. Click sign in to visit Shacker's official website. You can log in using Google, Discord, or other email accounts. Their plans include a free plan that provides 400 tokens daily, which refresh the next day. Upon first logging in, you'll be asked a question which you can answer however you like. After selecting five styles you prefer, you can activate Shacker AI. Shacker offers a variety of styles. If you have Comfy UI installed on your local computer, you can download the models directly or run it online to protect your graphics card. Click on All Types on the right to view all the models Shacker has available. By clicking on an image, you can see all the information and parameters used for that picture and easily run the model. Today, I'll show you how to use the latest Flux One model to create influencer models and consistent character images. Go to All Types and select Checkpoint under Model Type. In the base model, find Flux One. Here, we select the third model, click on it and run the model. Enter the image generation interface. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a prompt box. Paste the prompt words I've prepared there. You can find these prompt words in my video description. After entering the prompt words, add the LoRa function in the right panel settings. I've added a LoRa function randomly here, and you'll see later how much it changes the image details. For the reference image, you can use the image to image option, but I'll keep the default settings here. Set the image size to a two landscape. Choose to generate two images. Leave other settings as default. Once everything is set, click the Generate button and wait for the image to be created. Here are the images where I randomly added a Texture LoRa function. You can add a specific one after generating your images to fine-tune them for your special needs. Now, I'll click the minus sign to remove this LoRa function and reset everything to default settings. Then, I'll hit generate and wait a few seconds. The generated image looks fantastic, with warm and comfortable light and shadows, and the character's facial details are well handled. Download them. On the left side of the screen, there's a toolbar for zooming in and out of the image, along with information on using shortcut keys. Additionally, you'll find an image showcase for your reference and selection making it very convenient and flexible. 
If you like the picture on the left and want to apply it, move the mouse to the exclamation mark. Here you will find all information of this picture, including the prompt words used, model, style, Laura, etc. Click send to generator below and you can make the same picture. It will automatically apply the AI parameters and model directly to the new settings. It is very convenient. To create a series of AI influencer images with a consistent character, you should always maintain her unique features and characteristics in the prompt, such as appearance, hair, skin color, and eyes. Then, vary elements like clothing, headwear, hairstyles, backgrounds, and scene settings. Now, I'll paste the second prompt, keeping the settings on the left unchanged. Hit Generate. Wow! These images are stunning. I love them. You can see that her face remains almost the same because I didn't change the first part of the prompt, only her clothes and the background. Let's try another one. This time, I'll change her clothes and add rocks in the background. I'll keep all her features consistent. Generate again. Great job. Now, let's change her outfit and apply my tips. Click Generate. Wow, it turned out fantastic. The light, shadows, and her expression are very realistic. If you're not satisfied with the generated image, you can always generate another one until you get the perfect result. Next, let's go over the toolbar list above. The first tool is InPaint, which is used for specific photo editing within an image. Select the picture I just generated and click InPaint. It will automatically divide the details in the image. Click the part you want to modify. For instance, if I want to change the hair color, so I'll enter the prompt, blue-purple hair on the right. You can also select the style and strength of the AI creation below. I'll keep the default settings and generate the new image. Let's compare the before and after images. The second tool is Upscale. Select the picture with blue-purple hair, Choose the magnification you want on the right, adjust other parameters, and click Upscale below. Let's check out the effect. The third tool is Remove Background. By selecting the image and clicking on Remove Background, the background is quickly removed. The next tool is OutPaint. This time, choose another image and click on OutPaint. You can add the expected size to extend your image. The final tool is Face Swapper. Begin by finding a picture you like from the image showcase on the left, opening it, and reviewing the generated information. There's a Send to Generator option here. First, generate a picture identical to the one you have, keeping other settings unchanged, and hit Generate. After a few seconds, four images are created. Select a suitable one and click on the Face Swapper menu above. Shacker AI will automatically detect the person's face. Upload a photo of your model on the right. I select General in Style and then swap the face. After a few seconds, you'll see that the person in the image now has your model's face. It's quite convenient. If you have other high-quality influencer material images, you can use this function to create consistent character images for your AI influencers. Next, I'll teach you the second method to generate AI influencers with consistent facial images using the Comfy UI workflow. You don't need to be a UI expert or have a GPU because Shocker AI provides ready-made workflows. On the Shocker AI homepage, search for Flux Face Swap in the search bar. There are many options here. Select the first one, Comfy Org Flux Workflow. Click the Run Model button to come to the Comfy UI Workflow Layout. Seeing this somewhat complicated workflow layout, you don't have to worry. Just follow my steps and simply operate it. You can create a consistent character image. However, there are several key steps, so please watch carefully to the end. First, we see that all the small boxes have numbers, which is convenient for us to use. These small boxes are called nodes. We need to modify the parameters on several nodes. The first node to be modified is the number 54 node, which has a null value. 
we need to replace it with a new node. Right click on the screen and you will see many options. Select add node. There are many options and you need to keep sliding the mouse until we find loaders. Find checkpoint loader NF4 in loaders and click to select this model. Move it to the side to make it clear. The workflow of Comfy UI is very wide and has many lines. It looks complicated, but you will find that there are small dots of various colors on each node, which facilitates the connection between each node. Purple and purple are connected, yellow and yellow are connected, and red and red are connected. For example, the red VAE, the number 52 node has it, and the number 8 node has it. They are to be connected with the red VAE here. Connect the nodes according to each color. The purple model should be connected to the purple model in the number 59 sampler node and the purple model in the number 52 node. The yellow clip should be connected to the yellow clip in the number 6 node and the number 50 node. The green node is the prompt area and the number 50 node is the area the negative prompt. We connect them together. Finally, we also connect the red VAE. The number 54 node has no connection with other nodes now, so we can delete it. Select it, right click, and click the last remove in the drop down menu to delete it. In this way, the entire workflow is established. Next, I paste the prepared prompt here and put the negative prompt here below. Change the size of the image. I want a vertical ratio. The parameters of the number 59 sampler node remain unchanged. Upload my reference image here in the number 47 node. The parameters in the nodes on the right remain unchanged. And then hit generate. You need to wait a few seconds here. Move the mouse and you can see that the image has been generated at the bottom of the screen. Among the three images, two are images in the generation process and one is the high-definition image generated at the end. To download it, click Gallery in the upper left corner. Shacker AI will store all the images you generate with this workflow here. Click Download in the upper right corner of the image, and that's it. I will try another prompt now. Just a new prompt, and the other sittings don't need to be modified. In this way, you can get AI influencers with consistent facial images, and you can change the dress, style, and background at will. There is a save button in the upper right corner to save this workflow to your local computer. When you come next time and want to use this workflow, just simply click load from your computer, and you can use it right away. Shacker AI is one of the best platforms to use Flux AI, and it is also one of the best ways to create AI influencers. Shacker AI provides you with 400 free credits every day, which is enough for everyone to try the two methods I teach. If you enjoyed my video and found it helpful, please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you at the next one.